Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today, I am going to share with you, how to use the input function. This function is for defining inputs that are dynamically bound to values. Via user input or via other actions that compose them. This function is still a beta feature, but available for anyone to try. Let's see how it works. For this demonstration, I have bound the input function with the department column. So whenever we click on the department column, it will pop up an input form, which led us to change the particular column's value. Well, you may ask, why not we just set the department column as a quick edit column? For me, the answer is very simple, to avoid the accidentally editing data. And also, we can control the access right for the editing. I will show you how to configure this access right control later. And please watch till the end, I will share bonus tips which how to troubleshoot the can't save problem for the input function. All right, let's check out the setting for the input function. First, create a new action and set it as shown. Choose the column that applies the input function. For this demo, we choose department and then enter expression as shown. The first parameter is the column name while the second parameter just leaves as empty. Then save. Next, we may change the appearance. For the prominence, you may set it with your preference. Remember, save the changes. Next, you may set the access right for this action in the behavior section. By entering user email function in the condition expression. If you are unable to save the changes like this, no matter how you click the save button, but it still know anything happened, then you may open the edit form or all columns included. Click the save button in the edit form and check out which column is blocking the save function. For this demo, the print country column is set as a required column, which caused the edited data to fail to save. So we may just set this column as a not required column or required with condition. Let's save the changes and try again. Yeah, the input function has worked after disable the required column. All right, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.